Good day, great tens. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to protect your document. So here, I've just got a simple document in front of me. And um, what we're simply going to do is go to File, Save As. Um, we'll then say, you know, where we want to save the document to. I'll just save it to the desktop. Um, anywhere I want to. But what we need to look at is at the bottom here, bottom right hand corner, you can see we've got the button called Tools. You're going to click on Tools. And we're going to go down to general options. Okay. Now here I can put in a password for this document, right? If I want to password protect it, I can also put a tick in um, read only recommended so that when the person opens the document, they can do nothing else but read the document. Okay. And those are just simple things that we can put in just to um, have a password on our document and then to restrict what the person can do to that document. So I'm just going to put in a password here quickly. And I'm going to say, okay, okay I need to re-enter that password just to make sure it's correct. Okay, and they wanted me to put in a password to modify. So if somebody does want to modify, I can actually give them a, a password that I've set, um, which is separate from the one to open it. Okay, so now I'm just going to save it. Uh, Whether I say desktop, that's fine, and everything is okay here. I'm going to save it. Let me let me just save it into this folder, and we're just going to click on save. All right. So as you can see, nothing changes here. However. Uh, when I do go to my desktop, right, so now I go to where the file is. You see, I'm going to ask me for that same password that I popped in. Click OK. And uh, I put in another password that's the same one. It, or you might have a different one when it comes to modifying the actual file. And we click OK. And that allows me now to open the file. If I just decide I'm going to open the file, and I just put in the first password and I say read only. You can see what happens here on top. Read only, which means I can make changes in that, but it's not going to save anything. It's a read only copy. So don't forget now, we do that by going file save as. We choose where we're going to save it. We go to our tools, general options, and this is where we pop in everything. Okay, just the password. Um, and then if we want to make it read only or not. And that is one of the ways in which we can protect our documents.